Hey, yo, so real quick, my dude, let me ask you. Hmm. How do you feel about the TikTok videos when they do, like, quote-unquote loyalty tests? I'm going to be honest with you. If you feel you're with somebody and you're not sure what they would do in that situation, you should already not be in that relationship as it is. 1,000%. So the other person is also open to leave you. One, I think it's childish. I think it's right. my high school shit. But it's a sign of where of where you're at. That's what would be the deal. Mm. You know what I mean? If my wife tried to, I found out she set me up or I, I caught her going through my phone or whatever, I wouldn't care that she was going through my phone. I would be um, like, what is going on in our relationship yeah, to make you feel me. like think, 1,000%. maybe she goes, well, I don't know. You're just not doing this anymore like you used to or that anymore like you used to. Okay. Well, next time, just talk to me about it because the reason is I'm not doing this stuff is because XYZ. And even then, I think there'll be a bigger issue when eventually she doesn't find anything. I'm going to be more mad because I'll be like, what the f*** was that about? So, okay, so the reason why I ask, there'll be some where it'll be like two girls, the dude or whoever's doing the interview will ask or the, uh, one of the shorties will be like, hey, call her man. Ask if she wants to Netflix and chill about them. Now, in some of these videos, I noticed that uh, he asked, yo, weren't you with my girl? What happened? Blah, blah, blah. And they'll say something along the line like, oh, been she's tripping, she left with this guy or she left with these guys. Upon hearing that, she takes up the offer of hooking up with whoever the, the other party is, right? Right. To me, it makes it more disingenuous if you're telling me that if a friend, whoever is telling me that my girl left with a dude or a couple guys, I'm thinking like, well, shit, I mean, clearly this relationship is over. So whatever I do after that point, I shouldn't be held accountable because he and she calls me said, yo, this was a loyalty test. You failed. How the do I know that? All this is, you got caught. You try to do some damage control. And that's how I think. As soon as I'm told, nah, she went out with some dude, the post breakup grief cycle does not start with screw, screw, screwing somebody else right then and there. Yeah. That that grief cycle is going to start with who's she's with who? Like, I'm a call. I mean, I got to go. I'm going to call. Like, where are you at? I thought you were your friends. They told me, oh, no, it was fine. We were just kidding. And yeah, I'm actually right here. I'm like, wait, so you would have test me now? It goes into the whole, like, well, how close are we, right? Let's do this by levels. Tell me if this is somebody that you're not super serious yet, you're talking to, but like serious enough to be exclusive, right? Broken up immediately. Like, broken up immediately. Okay. Immediately. Cool. That's, immediately. Here, here, I'll even say this much. That individual may have a good reason for feeling that way. Maybe they just entered and uh, just, just came out of a relationship where they were where they were cheated on. I won't even really shit on her for it. I'm gonna break up with her because I don't have like I'm like, hey, look, you might have a good reason to feel like this, but I don't I don't really have time for that kind of stuff. Good luck on the next dude, but I'm out. My potentially cancelable take though is maybe I'm good to say this because I'm married. So like, what are, what are you gonna do? Not date me? Yeah. You know? Yeah, not <laughs> you know? with me. You know? If I ever find myself single, I might have to be like, look, I was a different person then. I'm sorry. But <laughs> <laughs> maybe I got a ukulele and I and I and I sing out an apology. All right. Here's the deal. I think there is a weird cultural norm in which people treat their relationships as if they're marriages. You are 19 years old. You just had your third month anniversary dinner. That is not your wife. And that is not your husband. If you are, if you if you hear wedding bells, then then fine. Then this doesn't apply to you. I'm talking about the people who know they plan on going to a different school when they go to grad school. People in those situations still feel like there's some sort of obligation to treat that as a as marriage. A, as a full blown marriage, yeah. Yeah, uh, you know what I mean. I'm not just saying cheat and break boundaries. That's not what I'm saying. I'm telling you right now, the situation is not the same because married man gets a call from my wife's friend however hot she may be, yeah. and says, hey, do you want to come over, yada, yada, yada. Me saying yes is a whole different kind of wrong than that 20-year-old in college saying yes. I'm not supporting being a, a boy. Don't misconstrue what I'm saying. But if you're 20 years old, you should be okay with just just dropping people like break up i knew in high school that like i wasn't wanting to get married to anybody that i was with like i never saw that i mean i've always felt like i was too young your brain does not stop developing until around 24 25 years old what i used to think what my ideal partner would be in my early 20s and my mid-20s has different. changed radically you know what i'm yes. saying like the things yes. that i used to think were important for me in a relationship what i want are so different yeah. To me now, to where like, and um, that's and, what I'm and, saying. And like, even if those, even if your desires didn't change, the partner you meet at 19, and the younger you go, the way worse it's gonna be, right? That person is completely changed. And I'm not even talking through like life. I'm talking developmentally. So I've seen it, especially with, within the rounds of like loyalty tests. It's true. There's always like, you know, for the most part, there's always like young younger couples. There's never mm -hmm. somebody like our age that is being interviewed and whatnot. Right. And and I feel like if they were. Uh, they're passing the low. I, I, li I like that you said RAs. I made it feel good. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got I li you. I, li I like that. Yeah. Hey, you know. Um, 
you know, know, people like us, you know, young yeah, people like, like us. us. Yeah, exactly, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> here's, here's my mentality also. When I, whenever I see, like, uh, one of these loyalty test videos, if one of my girls, homegirls, hit me up, trying to, like, Netflix to jump behind her back, I automatic, automatically think it's right and i'll come my girls like yo you well girl like is i don't know what's going on it's funny and i because i'm paranoid because it, to me it's like that's just where my brain will go overall i think i think they're stupid i honestly yeah think they're, 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 dumb. They're, they're dumb they're dumb they're dumb